What's up everyone, Matt with Remedy Pain and Performance. This week we're talking about deep and deliberate practice. So last week we talked about play. I remember we talked about kind of losing yourself in play and losing sense of time and how wonderful that feeling is uh, when you're stuck and lost in play. So that's the fun part. Last week was fun. This week's kind of the, the boring focused part and it's called deep and deliberate practice. There's a ton of research that's gone, on to the, gone into this over the last, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years or so. Uh, if you've ever read The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle, he kind of talks a lot about this. If you've heard the 10,000 hour rule, basically saying you need 10,000 hours to become you know, top 1% or an uh, expert in your field, uh, all kind of relating to the same type of stuff. Basically saying that talent can only take you so far, talent's overrated, and this deep focused effort is what makes people great. So we're talking about that a little bit today. So for you athletes, if you are trying to be top in your field, uh, whether it's you know basketball, baseball, whatever it is, if you're a high school athlete or younger or older, whatever it is, you're going to need to spend a ton of time in this deep and deliberate practice state, right? So that is the boring stuff. And I was talking to a, cu a couple clients a few weeks back about nobody does boring, <clears throat> right? Nobody's focused enough in their sport or in their their job or whatever it is to do the boring stuff. Um, so if you're a basketball athlete, that may be spending two hours a day on shooting technique and just working on your form. Nobody wants to do that, right? People want to go out and shoot their threes and play one-on-one -on -one and that sort of thing. But it's the deep and deliberate, the focus, the boring effort nobody else is willing to do that's going to help you see tremendous success. So for you athletes, spend a ton of time doing the boring stuff that no one else is willing to do, that's going to set you apart from all your peers. For you guys who aren't looking to become the next Wayne Gretzky, um, this can apply, you can apply this to work too, to being more productive at work or more successful in your job. Uh, a lot of, you know, big CEOs, guys earning a ton of money, really successful in the business world, they're very good at boring. They're very good at uh, making the seconds and minutes of their day productive. Um, they're very good about creating small habits and improving on those habits daily. And they're making just these little tweaks and adjustments throughout their days to improve their, their productivity. That's then going to improve their success or their business's success. <clears throat> so you can apply this to work as well. Again, thinking about <clears throat> no one does boring. Okay, focus, deliberate effort is what's going to help you see progress. Um, and they usually say this deliberate practice zone is about a 50-50 success failure rate. So if you're working on, let's say I'm again a basketball player, I'm working on free throws. So I may, may be able to make 8 out of 10 free throws and that's 80% success rate. So my deep and deliberate practice may be, okay, instead of just making a shot, I have to swish a shot. So I, I have to make it without hitting the rim. And maybe I can do that on half of my shots. So it's, it's taking your practice and narrowing it down and making it way more specific and focused. Um, so I hope you can find something that you're passionate about to put some deep and deliberate practice into it and kind of finding, doing the boring stuff to really help you see a ton of success. That's all for this week. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching as always.